What is going on everybody? Brandon here and I am right now on I-4 uh, heading over to Universal. There's a little bit of traffic. I'm trying to get over there as quickly as I can uh, and it is actually going to be the last day for Terminator 2. That's right, no more shows after today for Terminator 2 so I do have to get over there, hopefully see that last show. Um, it is 3 o'clock. I'm kind of getting a late start, but I've been studying all day. There's a lot of stuff I've been doing. So here's a little bit of an update for you guys. I'm actually getting off uh, the Universal exit right now, and you guys can see the new hotel that is actually being constructed, uh, Ventura, and it looks pretty awesome so far. Um, it's going to be really nice. Like It's going to be a nice addition to the Universal Orlando Resort. Here's a closer look. That looks awesome. Very modern. Very nice. It's about 3.30 right now. I know the park closes like at 5 for Halloween Horror Nights. I didn't really check into uh, the schedule for Terminator 2. I didn't really check into anything. So um, I'm just going on a whim. I'm hoping that I'll be able to see it. If I don't, I don't know, like I'm not that much of a fan to be honest. I mean, I kind of like the attraction. I've done a parody like on it in the past, but um, if I don't see it, it's not a big deal. Here's a little bit of a fun fact for you guys. I've yet to do Halloween Horror Nights here at Universal. Um, I've yet to do Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party and also Hollow Scream at Busch Gardens Tampa, but I do plan on doing all three in the very near future, so definitely stay tuned for some videos on those events. We are now here at the entrance to Universal Studios Florida. We're gonna head in in just a moment. And here is that Universal Globe. We know that they won't be getting rid of this, but they are getting rid of a lot of attractions lately here at the resort, uh, which actually leads me to this question. What attraction do you guys think is gonna go next? Like, I'm hoping Simpsons, but who knows? Alrighty, so I'm now approaching Terminator 2 in 3D. Uh, it looks like they're still letting people in, so we'll see. I didn't really get a return ticket. I mean, I wasn't here earlier, so hopefully I can still get in. Here it is. Terminator 2. They're handing out, like, orange tickets to everybody in line. Thank you. Alrighty, well, it's pretty full in here, but I did get a ticket. Yeah. Yes. I think they like opened up Express for me, so or for everybody. So um, I might be like voiding the whole line. I don't really know what's going on. It's been a long time since I've been in here, so I will say this is uh, quite the experience. Oh wow, there's like a lot of space here in the uh, Express line. I don't know. I'm not gonna argue. <laughs> I think I did actually skip the whole line. I don't know. Confused. Get my glasses here. Well, they're starting to let people in from the uh, regular line, so I believe they'll then let the express line go through. All right, I am now being allowed in. Thank you all. Thank you all. Welcome to Oh wow. It's not that filled. It's yeah. It's really not that filled up. So the pre-show building here uh, has pretty much filled up. I'm gonna start just a moment. Check it out. Here's like a look at all the crowds. A lot of people. Many 
friendly, smiling faces out here today. It looks as though everybody's inside. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Cyberdyne Systems. I'm Kimberly Duncan, Director of Product Development. <laughs> I'm kind of a big deal. <laughs> going to be among the first to see an exclusive presentation of our latest technology. Now, we're not quite ready for those safety visors that you received outside. Hang on to them for now. You'll need them in a few moments when we enter our main auditorium. By the way, if anybody needs a pair of glasses, please ask one of our helpful security staff at the back of the auditorium. They'll be more than happy to assist you. In the very near future, we'll be rolling out some innovative new consumer products designed to make your lives better, brighter, easier, and safer. Now, let's take a look at this little sizzle reel, which I personally supervise. Yeah, yeah. in store for you in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Cyber Time! Imagine a world where butterflies run on batteries. Imagine an education system where an entire semester of coursework is downloaded directly into the student's brain. In the blink of an eye, every lesson, every subject, every student, total recall. Imagine a high-tech medical center where a neurosurgeon can remove a brain tumor with absolute technological precision without missing the sunset. Where a mother can tuck in her child and say goodnight from halfway around the planet. Where contact lens neural vision enhancers make human error. A thing of the past. It's happening today at Cyberdyne Systems. That's right, Cyberdyne System. Are we in? This is money. This is me, everybody. We don't have much time. Skynet is your enemy. It must be destroyed before it destroys us. Don't believe this cutesy pie video, video in their sick, sick marketing. marketing. These corporate pigs aren't selling safety, they're selling death. They should all be taken out and barbecued in barbecue. Mission, remember? She's a little intense. Okay, um, attention everyone in this Security. building. Security! This is a warning from the human resistance. Cyberdyne is a menace. Skynet threatens the future of the human race. We're gonna stop it. You have five minutes to get out. Pete, all civilians in this building have five minutes to get out. Okay. Right. Rolling. Now listen to me very carefully. Only days after its completion, the Skynet computer will turn against us, launching a blowout war against mankind. The battle will last over 30 years, with the fate of the human race at stake. How do I know this? How do I know it's in the future? Because the future paid me a visit. Come with me if you want to live. Killers, cyborgs, terminators, back through time to remove those who would oppose it. <laughs> Skynet must never be completed. Get out of the building. You have been warned. You have five minutes before we leave. The future safer and friendlier for everyone. And you witness perhaps Cyberdyne's greatest breakthrough. An incredible new technology that will change your world today and tomorrow. Right. Do what you have to. Double the security on all the doors. Keep them out. The future. It's happening today at Cyberdyne Systems.
We are the future. a moment to apologize for that silly interruption. It only takes a few sad, warped individuals to run things for everybody, doesn't it? <laughs> well, I assure you that is the last that we have seen of them. <laughs> but enough of that. Now, in just a moment, the doors to our auditorium will open towards you. Now, that's toward you. Yeah. If you stand too close, they will hit you. Yeah. All right, everyone, I'll see you all inside. And remember, the future is waiting. Here we go, right into the main showroom. in order to accommodate all of our Cyberdyne guests. I assure you, every seat in this house has been precision designed by our Cyberdyne engineers to ensure that every seat is just... Now, before we get started, we also need to go over just a few announcements. For your safety, as our Cyberdyne guests, we must insist, everyone remain seated during the entire duration of our presentation. Also, due to the monumentous day that we have here in the Miles Bennett Dyson Memorial Auditorium, Visors. The special 
special classes you received outside and observe. Laser designators active. Prepare to fire. Lock and load. Commence firing.
Oh, well, huh? I promise you, no human has ever seen this place. Oh, my God. We are approaching the final level, Skynet Central Core. That's our target, the CPU. All right, Skynet's brain pan. We're on camera. First, we use the charges to take out the CPU. Then, we use the time tool generator to get back home. So, what kind of response systems do they have down here? There's only one, but it's a good one. It's called the Team One Million. Let's go. We don't have much time. Up. This is not good. This is definitely not good. Ready to go, John. Now. No. 20 seconds. Go. I'll be back. Go.
everyone is now exiting uh, like the show building. That's that. No more Terminator 2. 3D. It's gone. Alrighty, well they're about to empty out uh, the building. They're pretty much emptying it out right now. Um, there's not really anything else to see. People are just sticking around uh, just to kind of, you know, I don't know, pay their tributes, whatever. Uh, it's cool though. It's a cool show. It's going to be sad to see it go. Uh, but I am very excited about the future of uh, this area and you know I do think that they will uh, replace it with an attraction that is definitely updated. Uh, Terminator has aged. Ooh. Oh it's a good thing I stayed. The lights are now on. Wow. Well they are now clearing the theater. Here it is with the lights on. All right, well that was that. Pretty much clearing out you know, the theater now. Um, we actually have to drop our glasses, do that, and here's a gift shop. This is all going away soon. No more Terminator hats, t-shirts, all that kind of stuff. And the doors are going to shut soon. It's only team members right now being allowed inside the uh, theater. I wonder what they're going to do with all the extra glasses. Probably reuse them uh, for another attraction. I mean, they have a lot of theater attractions, so I'm sure that these will come in handy somewhere. Uh, but yeah, so that's a wrap. That's done. Wow, I'm going to miss it. This gift shop, it's not all Terminator merchandise, so as I would suspect, they're going to keep the gift shop, most likely, and uh, just kind of change the merchandise around here, take all of the Terminator stuff out when they do. Since there are very few uh, Terminator related items here, I'm going to show you guys them. So. We have some Mega Blocks items, just some little toys right there. Um, so sort of like Legos, but Mega Blocks. We have action figures, so here's one for Schwarzenegger, or Arnold Schwarzenegger that is. And here is T-1000, the motorcycle cop. It does not include his motorcycle though, just uh, the cop itself. They also have flip grips here, pretty cool, I like these. You guys are going to make sure that everybody in the gift shop in this area will make sure that they know what they're part of. Uh, oh. No. <laughs> that's, that's it. They have a few t shirts here. I believe I showed you that one, but I did not show you this one so uh, really they only like have one shelf with uh, Terminator merchandise for the most part they have a window display here in the gift shop with some Terminator 2 information oh I did not even know it was directed by James Cameron uh, we know that name because Avatar but I did not know he was involved in Terminator I actually haven't seen the Terminator movies, which a lot of people are pretty shocked. Like, why haven't you seen, I haven't seen any Terminators. Um, I guess there's Terminator 1 and 2. I haven't seen either. A lot of crowds are now gathering in front of the main entrance, Terminator 2 3D. We're going to check it out, see if there's anything really interesting. It's just going to be the sign and the doors are closed. I haven't been back to Universal since they've started Halloween Horror Nights, so they do have some Halloween Horror Nights stuff up around the park. All right, guys. Well, I am right now um, in front of the entrance for Terminator 2. Guess who I just ran into? Oh. Orlando. Hey, that's me. <laughs> yeah, so he's right here, and um, he has some awesome videos. Check him out. I'll like Thank put you. a link in the description. Cool. But uh, yeah, he, he does some vol volcano-based stuff, you know, Universal. Yeah. Uh, you're kind of everywhere. Yeah, yeah. I also work here. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, yeah, check him so, out. I love this ride. It's one of my favorite rides, or shows, sorry. Show, yeah. In this, in this whole park, so I had to be here for the final night. I agree, and, and you know, I 
actually did a parody on, I don't know if you know, I did a parody years ago. I'm gonna actually feature the parody like right now after after this clip. Um, it's kind of, it's a it's a random, it's like brand -block systems instead of Cyberdyne. But. And one of the things I liked is I got up to talk to the cats because I told them that they're the best part of the show. Yeah, they, they put 100% really. in every night, every yeah. day. I'm I, sorry, I agree. Night, I keep saying night. <laughs> yeah, no, but I agree. They, they do a great job and honestly, it's going to be a missed show, but yeah. we'll see what happens. Like, oh, and then I was also going to ask, what, 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 what's going to go next? Like, what, what is I don't know. I know that there, was, uh, there were rumors of Walking Dead, but I don't know if that oh. really makes sense. Yeah. They said something about a hmm. show, um, but I have no idea. Yeah. I That's know, I mean, Dragon Challenge is gone now, this is gone. Yeah. I think the next thing to go is probably Shrek. I think they better, yeah, they Shrek, better get maybe? rid of that uh, Fear Factor stage. Oh, that's it's still right. there it's next right. year, oh, and it's no Bill and Ted's album. Very bad. Yeah, and I was going to say Simpsons, but I don't know. That's fairly new. Yeah. Yeah, they might not. They might not I've do that yet. I've heard about Shrek 4D, not so sure. Yeah. I never liked the movie, so the ride, I didn't I've never really cared about the ride either. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, well, thanks for watching. Here's that, like, parody. Imagine a world where loose articles are permitted on roller coasters. Imagine a world where theme parks operate 24 hours all the time. Where you can have your favorite meal every day with your best friends. Imagine the exciting development of a world where dinosaurs exist and don't eat human beings. It's all happening today at Brandon Blog Systems. That's right, Brandon Blogs. We're back bigger and better than ever and we're ready to lead the world down the information superhighway our goal complete domination of global communications and to make your life easier happier and richer brandon blog systems the future system systems of, of the Are we in? Yeah, I think so. Okay, listen to me, everybody. We don't have much time. Brandon Block System is your enemy. It must be destroyed before it destroys us. Don't believe this QC by video and their sick marketing. These cobra pigs aren't selling good things. They're selling fraud. They should be taken out and barbecued. I need the mission. Remember? She's a little tense. Okay, um, attention everyone watching. This is a warning from the human resistance. Brandon Block. Brandon Block System is a menace. They threaten the future of the human race. We're going to stop for five minutes to do this. Repeat all civilians watching. Brandon Block System must never be completed. Brandon Block Systems. Greatest breakthrough including incredible new technology that will change the world today. Get out of here. You have been warned. You have five minutes before the... You are now watching the Universal Edition of Brandon Block. Sit back, relax, and enjoy your ride. Exclusive rates apply. Brandon Blogs is not responsible for any lost, stolen, or damaged articles while watching. <laughs> Sleep safely knowing that Cyberdyne is now gonna run the world. Uh, the doors are probably locked, but we can always try. Yeah, there is no more entry. It's gone. Looks like they're getting ready for Halloween or nights. Here is one more view of the entrance for Terminator 2 3D. Wanted to show you guys all the warnings right here. And I was surprised they actually let us, you know, film the entire show today. I don't know what their uh, general policy is with the filming, but they did let us film, which was pretty awesome. Guess what I found out? If you walk over here, I can still see some of the inside. Wow. That is amazing. There's a view, like, over there of the extended queue. Uh, the main door is right there. Looks like the lights are off in there. Or maybe they just, you know, uh, have tinted doors. Anyways, yeah, that's that. Cyberdyne Systems. It's a wrap. Well, I guess there's not really anything else to see. I'll just kind of wrap it up here. I hope you guys enjoyed that parody. It was uh, fun to make, well, years ago. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, that's that. You can head out of the park right now. Got to uh, go. But thanks again for watching. And uh, I'm sure that we will all miss you know, Terminator. But like I said, whatever they add, whatever they 
decide to replace it with, I'm sure it's going to be justifiable. I'm sure people will love it. It's going to be awesome. So, I mean, we'll see. I mean, the future is always unknown, but um, we'll see what happens. Here we have all of the Halloween Horror Nights crowds waiting to get in for tonight's Halloween Horror Nights. I'm not staying, but I did want to show you guys. They have the maps now. They have the event guides. So we're going to grab some, and I'll tell you what. We'll do a giveaway with some of these. So, I don't really have a count here, but... Um, I will do a giveaway, so all you have to do is comment below and we will pick some winners um, and then we'll ship some of these out to you guys. Once you're inside the park, you can purchase Express for Halloween Horror Nights. They have a sign right here. So all you have to do is walk up to the booth and you can buy Express. Rain is now coming down pretty hard, so it's a good thing that I am not doing Halloween Horror Nights tonight because uh, looks like you know it's already raining. Probably wouldn't be the best night to do it, so I will come back on a much nicer evening for Halloween Horror Nights so that I can definitely get the best quality footage for you guys. The winds are starting to pick up, so check that out. All that mist coming out is just blowing right away. Anyways, here is the Universal Globe in front of the NBC Sports Grill. I did want to point out though that since a storm is approaching, and you can definitely hear that thunder right there, they're parking all the boats over here at the port just to make sure that they're not operating during the storm. I gotta say, I really do like the fact that they have these new Volcano Bay banners here, actually advertising that they have three parks. And if I turn around, they have another one that says, float on over to Universal's Volcano Bay. If we look at the skyline for Islands of Adventure, you can now see the Aventura Hotel in the background over there. Here's a look at the Burger King Waver Bar here in City Walk. I was thinking about trying it because I've never tried it before. Mine's a little bit long, so I'm going to skip it on this visit. Well, it appears that I am now just like getting out at the best time, right time to be walking out of Universal. The storm is really picking up. You can no longer see Dragon Challenge up there. It's gone. No more Dragon Challenge in the skyline, unfortunately. Wow, this is pretty bad. Hey, look, it's a, a Tonight Show ad. It races through New York. That's cool. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, this is crazy. Oh gosh, I can't even see the volcano. Like the volcano's over there, but you can barely see it. That's all Volcano Bay, you can't see anything. That's how bad the visibility is, it's that reduced. You can't even see uh, the Krakatau Volcano. Like I can't see anything but white. I see no infrastructure really anywhere uh, as far as like buildings and stuff, that is insane.